get to your health news headlines. If you are always tired, maybe you're having some trouble sleeping, maybe your sex drive is nothing. It's bottomed out. Well, it could be because of testosterone and too little of it. Dr. Angela DeRosa is here with one of our patients, Erin Nethery, to talk about this. First of all, good morning. Good morning. Happy Hi. Veterans Day. Yes, important <laughs> to acknowledge that. Erin, I want to bring you in on this immediately because, first of all, thank you for being vulnerable enough to share your story. No what problem. was it that sent you to go see Dr. DeRosa? Years of increasingly ill health and Just fatigue. not feeling well? Um, basically a flesh paperweight. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, uh, just no energy, uh, no, no thinking clearly. Dizzy uh, or just, just feeling at, restless? At some points, um, you know, no energy. No, just could not focus. Uh, just felt terrible all, all the time. And you get to feeling so terrible, you don't realize how terrible. That you're just walking daily through mm -hmm. this. Yes, existing rather than living. There you go. That's a great mm -hmm. way of describing that. Mm -hmm. And so, Dr. Dorsa, I know that you see a lot of people who come to you. Yes. And they have reached their limit. I mean, they absolutely. feel absolutely helpless. Absolutely. They've been totally disappointed by health care, and they feel like they have nowhere to go. I mean, people are crying in my office every day. They feel that it's become their new normal. They're apathetic. They've just lost that zest for life or even that in love feeling with their spouses. Yeah. They're in love feeling with their work, their children. They're just dead inside. And so many of us blame it on mm -hmm. the change that we hear so much about yeah. as women, right? Our, mm -hmm. our moms went through it. Mm -hmm. Some of our moms have told us about it. Others have not. So we're walking mm -hmm. and wanderingly, wandering aimlessly through life. Right. You have men and women who come to you, you get blood tests, mm -hmm. and then oftentimes you recommend the kind of therapy that mm -hmm. Aaron has gone Absolutely, through. and it's important to note that you need, do need to check blood levels. You also need to do a proper assessment. There's a lot of other clinics out there that are just randomly giving people testosterone to help treat these symptoms without following what could potentially be harmful if you do too much of testosterone. So it's important that you go to the right people mm -hmm. because oftentimes when you imbalance or if you try to rebalance imbalanced hormones improperly, you can actually make things much worse than better. Is it pretty common mm -hmm. though for testosterone to be really low and what mm -hmm. numbers should we be looking at? Unfortunately, the lab reference ranges are incorrect for women. When you actually look at replacement levels of testosterone, we should be closer to 150, uh -huh. and the level on the labs typically goes only up to 42. So if you're within that 0 wow. to 42 range, most physicians are saying you're fine when you're absolutely not. Um, and really, you have to know who's, who's looking at those levels and how to properly interpret them. So it's important to talk to the right person, talk about your symptoms, and mm -hmm. yes, we are going to go through that change, but almost inevitably all women in their 30s are going to start to drop their testosterone and most importantly in women in their 20s if they're on oral birth control pills yeah all oral birth control pills cause testosterone deficiency interesting and mm -hmm. can we get it back or do we need testosterone therapy to get it back. If you're in your 20s and you go off the oral birth control and switch to, let's say, a non-oral, like yeah. a NuvaRing, an IUD, uh -huh. um, you can regain some of your ovarian function to get that testosterone back. But if you're in your 30s and 40s, you're already on that downhill sl slide. You won't recover it and you need to replace. All right. Does it hurt? What do you have to do? <laughs> it doesn't hurt, Erin. No, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. And, and I will mention that I did I go through surgical menopause, which, you know, I already felt terrible. And then I really mm -hmm. crashed. Sure and after doctor after doctor and no help. So when I did meet Dr. DeRosa, I really truly believe she saved me. But I keep hearing me. about the pellets that go mm -hmm. in there. Yes, and the pellets are really simple. It's uh -huh. just about five minutes. It doesn't hurt at all. It's under the skin. You, you know, set it, forget it, and go out and do your thing. I love how we put this graphic here with the little pellet right there on a dime to give you, again, some perspective yeah. there of how small it is. Yeah. What does it not do for you? Well, it's not going to replace any estrogen deficiency symptoms to a large degree. You will get some minor conversion to estrogen, so it can help with some hot flashes and sleep, but you may need to have that balanced with uh, estrogen. Um, also, if you have a thyroid deficiency, yeah. it will help the thyroid function better, but a lot of women also by the time they're 50 are going to have low thyroid, so it doesn't fix thyroid either. So you really need to be looking at the whole hormonal, I call it the endocrine symphony. Nice. <laughs> and really being altogether. honest with yourself about the way you feel. Absolutely. Do not assume that it's natural or normal any way or form we can fix this it doesn't need to happen mother nature is formidable but so are we i love it <laughs> thank you ladies so much thank appreciate you. it